Okay, so I'm sat in front of my TV for the start of this video, and that's because I have a much shorter Ethernet cable on this setup. Uh, and the reason I need that is because I want to use game streaming, because Fortnite just became available on Microsoft xCloud. So let's just switch on my Pi 400. I'm using my remote plug, so you can see the green light has just come on. Uh, and that's the one I use for my remote desktop. Uh, but uh, for this, I'm using Pi 400. I just wanted to see how well it runs. And the OS I'm using is uh, a new one from the Armoury, uh, which is uh, with form two former members of the Pi Labs team, Munker and Salva. They've got together to try and create a very, very nice OS. Uh, and unfortunately, my 4K TV, it starts up in 4K, so I'm gonna have to lower the resolution. Now, I'll show a bit more of the OS in a minute, but first of all, I wanted to try out uh, Fortnite, which has just come out on xCloud. Microsoft had just announced that it's free to use. And it's also on GeForce Now as well, and I thought I'd try a bit of game streaming. Uh, now, I did try just now with my Xbox 360 controller, but to look around, it's, it's just way too sensitive. So I'm going to try my Xbox One controller, uh, and rather than pair it, I'm just going to plug it in and see if that lets me use it. I'm guessing it will. So uh, if I go to Chromium, and you can see I've got Play Fortnite here. There are more games going to be coming available uh, on xbox.com uh, and this works in most browsers so this will work on an iPad, it will work on an Android device, uh, an iPhone, Windows computer, all sorts of things. So let's just sign in. Hopefully it remembers my previous sign in. Yeah it does, there's my login uh, and so it, it comes up a bit like an Xbox. So if we click on this uh, you can see play for free comes up here uh, and we have access to various other things but uh, for now, just Fortnite is one of the free games. So let's hit play. It says controller disconnected, but if I move, yeah, if I move my controller, it, it recognizes that it is connected. And are we getting, I don't think we're getting any messages about slow internet. I'm not sure if my internet is quite fast enough for cloud gaming. It was pretty good with Stadia, but not perfect. Um, but certainly over on my other desk where I've got, I don't know if it's a 10 or 15 meter cable, um, it, it just, it definitely isn't as fast. Right, so you can see here, everything is working. Press A to start. I can log in. Here we go, so I'll just go straight for solo, so let's press Y to play. But it does seem to be pretty responsive so far. Let's see what look around looks like. Or oh, look around was a little bit laggy. Not terrible, but a little bit laggy. And running, and let's try and get a weapon. Yeah, it's working. I would say it's not going to be so good for the finer things. Oh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit laggy, and I would say this is more to do with my internet connection um, than the browser because this it does seem to work really well when the internet's working fine. I haven't played this for quite some time. Yeah, that seems all right. So Munker and Salva have definitely been trying to make this. Uh, just be the fastest, most lean operating system they can uh, and really concentrated on web performance. And uh, it's based on Wayland, uh, but I'll go through a bit more of it uh, when I can get it onto my screen capture device. Uh, so after I've stopped playing this, I just want to try it out for now. So let's, let's go where there's going to be a few people because it doesn't matter really if I die straight away because it's just getting an idea of it, isn't it? This might be all right. But this... This would definitely be a good, oh, no, 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 I missed the gun, and there's definitely someone here. Where is he? Up, oh, probably up, up above me. Oh, let's just try and find him. Where are they? Oh, <laughs> okay, so I died. Never mind. Uh, right, so I'm going to shut that down now and I'm going to switch it over so I can properly screen capture and everything. But uh, it is working, could be better. You can see you get all the kind of uh, Xbox stuff that happens here. Uh, so if I cut, cut out of this, do I, uh, how do I go up? So if I go B for back, I've got, I've got dots up here, I'm not sure what they do. Oh yeah, so Xbox, oh that, that's kind of your, a oh, yeah, quick game, so I can do I can do all that on the controller. And quick game, 
And the thing about this, I've just ticked on uh, games play instantly because you don't have to download the game. So if you want to play Fortnite, obviously it's a, it's a big download, but with cloud gaming, uh, and this is the same thing with Stadia, you just jump in and it's, and it's already there and it's already up to date. So what we've got recently added, most popular. So all of these will be stuff that if I click on it, it will say um, that I have to log in. But is there, I can't see a section for free, which would be quite cool. So if I pick this out of Rally, uh, play with, yeah, Game Pass Ultimate. Look. So I think it's gonna be the same with pretty much everything. Because there, there isn't a section that says free to play and Fortnite kind of, so I've just got this top bit here, just play for free. So if I click on that, it only gives you Fortnite. So uh, obviously over time this could change, but at the moment it's just Fortnite, but I'm pretty impressed with that. So I've switched over to my Pi 4 8 gig, and uh, as you can see, it's running Debian 11, and I'll just log in. And this is how it starts up. I've installed PSensor, and I've told it to start uh, when the system starts. So if we click on this, you can see, and I usually move it down to the bottom here. I like to keep an eye on the temperature because uh, I was messing about with different overclocking settings. Uh, now, the Windows key doesn't do anything, but if I press F5, uh, that brings up the search. And so if I was to say search for something like Gparted, you can see that comes up and I can click on that to launch that and pop my password in. Uh, the password as standard is Raspberry. I've changed it on mine just for a bit of extra security. And so here it is running Gparted. But uh, where uh, they've worked very hard is to try and optimize this. Now, if I call up the terminal, so F5, start typing terminal, and start that, and go for NeoFetch. You can see all the details here. So kernel 5.15.32, Debian, our 64-bit operating system, running GNOME 42. And if I click on the settings, and scroll down and do about, we can see that it's running Wayland. And uh, under graphics, we've got V3D 4.2. And so if I show you my overclock, now I've played around with some settings I found on Facebook, but they didn't work great for me, but I'll probably show that in another video. But I'm running 2147, over voltage of eight, and a GPU frequency of 850. And if we run this, GL Mark II Wayland, it goes through a load of self-tests. And I was thinking maybe that would be worth comparing it to some operating system to see how it works. But it does seem to be running nice and smoothly. So I'll definitely revisit this operating system as more things get added because at the moment, uh, if we go into applications, uh, they haven't got to the stage where they put loads of games and things on there. These are some, some fairly basic games which are on here. Uh, I have installed the Dolphin emulator. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I did quite like this Nibbles, uh, which reminds me of Light Cycle on the ZX Spectrum. So we can say how many players we want and hit next. And uh, yeah, we'll go medium is fine. And it's basically like a game of snake or light cycles, but uh, really quite enjoyable to play. And you get longer, oh, <laughs> that was a bit close. Uh, you get longer as you go on, although I haven't picked up any fruit. Oh, I missed it. Oh, it looks like cherries. Does that make you shorter? Come on. Oh. And I just got killed. But uh, yeah, it, it's actually, it's actually even though it's a basic game, really quite nice to play. I'd like to see an online version of this. I know there was, um, is it Snake IO? Um, but that tended to, tended to need quite a lot of resources. Oh, that's better. Oh, I'm, I'm gone again. Anyway, I'll come back and uh, review this when more has been done to it. But it's great to see Salva and Munker working on this project. And uh, I look forward to what it comes up with in the future. Anyway, I hope you like this, hope it helps. Thanks very much for watching, please like and subscribe.